pleasant evening to you. Here's what to expect in tomorrow's headlines, being the 5th of October 2024. This is tomorrow's news today. Starting with our national news, your history will include shooting Fubara. River State Governor dares Police Inspector General. Confusion as newly elected Benue People's Democratic Party PDP officials arrive at Lok Secretariat. Being a woman in the National Assembly is hard work, says Ireti King Gigbe. Protesters swarm River State Independent Electoral Commission office and insist on River's local government poll. Adeboye makes a U-turn and apologizes for saying non-tithers won't make heaven. Anambra is to vaccinate over 1.1 million children against measles across the state. Death toll in Niger State boat accident rises to 42. Four-year tenure for Inspector General will ensure stability, says Okiru. Police release detained Lagos October 1st protesters on bail. In our business stories, New Nigeria United Arab Emirates Bilateral Air Service Agreement BASA unlocks full United Arab Emirates airport access for Nigerian airlines, says Festus Keamo. Central Bank of Nigeria CBN introduces electronic matching system for foreign exchange transactions to begin by December. Moving to our international stories, Italy targets windfall taxes amid budget deficit concerns echoing Nigeria's recent bank levy. Sudan's war to intensify as rainy season draws to a close. Finally, in our spot headlines, former Super Eagles goalkeeper Joseph Dosu escaped death in Lagos accident. Rodiga heaps praise on Barcelona's Yamal ahead of El Clasico. Saliba playing for Real Madrid will be great, says Rudija. Chelsea is not ready to compete for English Premier League, says Maresca. For more details of the news and more interesting reports, do visit our website at guardian.ng or pick up a copy of our newspaper from your closest newsstand. Remember to follow us on all social media platforms at Guardian Nigeria. I'm Ifnai Okoli for Guardian TV. Good night.